the people that would be most likely to exhibit it would be nonverbal autistic children. And it turns out that I might be right. The video you're looking at shows the experimental setup we had last spring. Haley, a 10-year-old severely autistic child, and her therapist are seated alone in the room, together at a table and separated by a tall partition that prevents eye-to-eye -eye or physical contact. Cards with randomized numbers, words, sentences, pictures, and equations were hidden until the experiment. The therapist viewed them one by one on her side of the visual barrier and then asked Haley what she was thinking or looking at. Haley pointed with her wooden pencil inside characters on stencils with her right hand to select them and then entered them with her left into a device that converts text to speech. You'll notice that there are no characters for division signs, equal signs, or decimal points, so the therapist had to tell Haley when these occurred. You'll also notice that her answer is 100% accurate on 18 out of 18 digits. This is just one of 10 equations that she did in a 10 minute period with accuracy above 90% each time. This video shows Haley with the other therapist with whom she has reportedly had telepathic communication. In this experiment, the therapist was asked to write a description of the picture that she was looking at and then to ask Haley what she was thinking. As you can see, Haley is selecting the letters and the stencil has 26 letters and she is just as accurate as she is with the numbers. The video you just saw was described as jaw-dropping by someone who attended the scientific conference where I presented it this summer. But I want to go back and I want to film Haley under ideal scientific conditions. There are also several other children across the globe who demonstrate a similar phenomenon. I want to go and document them as well.